Is Bitcoin a financial investment? The line between money and financial assets is not always clear. In fact, money is a type of financial asset. One that is highly liquid, used to make payments, but that typically pays little or no interest. Other types of financial assets are less liquid but offer the potential to pay returns. For example, people buy stocks and bonds with the expectation that they will earn interest, receive dividend payments, or sell the asset at a higher price in the future. While Bitcoin was originally developed to function as currency, there has been a noticeable increase in demand from those who buy Bitcoin as a speculative. This speculation by investors has driven Bitcoin prices to rise so fast that some financial experts call it a financial bubble. One definition of a bubble is when the price of an asset diverges from its underlying fundamental value. Think of a bubble blow more air into the bubble it gets bigger and bigger, but at some point the pressure exceeds the capacity of what the gum can hold, and it pops. Similarly, a financial bubble occurs when increasing demand for an asset causes its price to rise higher and higher, far above its underlying value. As prices rise, current investors enjoy rising asset prices and might be tempted to buy more. Others, afraid they are missing an opportunity, may see the upward momentum and choose to invest. Assuming that the trend will continue. But bubbles often pop. That is, there is a big price drop generating large losses for those holding the asset. How quickly did Bitcoin prices rise? While prices fluctuated wildly during the year, Bitcoin finished 2017 with a gain that was just shy of 1,400%. Experts see investors' excitement about Bitcoin as similar to investors' response to technology stocks in the 1990s and houses in the 2000s. In both cases, investors continued to buy even after prices had climbed, expecting that others would buy the asset from them at even higher prices in the future. Others, afraid they were missing out on a potential opportunity for profits, were drawn in pushing prices even higher. Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, and Warren Buffett, regarded as one of the world's most successful investors, have called Bitcoin a bubble. Said that it is worse than the infamous tulip bulb bubble of the 1630. Buffett says Bitcoin is difficult to value because it's not a value-producing asset. Stocks represent ownership of real capital and often provide a stream of dividend income. Bitcoin provides neither real capital nor income. Robert Schiller, the Nobel laureate economist who predicted the two biggest speculative markets in recent history, the tech stock bubble of the 1990s and home prices in the 2000s, has also called Bitcoin a bubble. Schiller even speculates on the possibility of competing cryptocurrencies replacing Bitcoin and driving its value to zero. Of course, bubbles are hard to spot while they are happening. Investors inevitably disagree about the proper value for an asset, and it's even harder to predict when bubbles will pop. On flea time will tell if the exuberance of Bitcoin buyers has been irrational. Bitcoin has characteristics that allow it to function as money and make it a useful payment method. That is, it is relatively easy to transfer Bitcoin to other people or businesses, even for international transactions. However, other aspects of Bitcoin make it less desirable for everyday transactions, including security problems and volatile.